Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you five DIYs that I've used over the last three years to decorate my uni rooms. So these are the three rooms that I lived in. I have got room tour videos for the first year and second year rooms up on my channel already and if you want to see the third year one then it's going to be the next video on my channel so subscribe and stay tuned for that. So we'll start with the project which arguably is the easiest and I found the most fun and that's this copper edged pin board. I bought this pin board from I think it was Ryman, it cost me about £5 and I'm just going to spray paint the edges. So the first step is to cover the bit of the board which you don't want painted and for me that is the cork part. So I'm just using old scrap paper and kind of sliding it under where the frame is and then taping it down so that it doesn't blow up in the wind because I am going to be painting this outside. Once the whole thing's covered so that no paint is going to slip through the cracks, I'm doing exactly the same thing but to the other side. And then this is the fun bit. I took it outside, put some newspaper down so I didn't ruin my landlord's grass because I knew she'd get angry about that. And then I just sprayed a lot of paint on it. The paint I'm using is the copper spray paint by a brand called Cobra, which I got on Amazon for under £10, I think. I've used it for loads of different things and it's been really good every time. So I definitely recommend that brand, but obviously you can use whatever colour, whatever brand you want. Once you're done painting the first side, you need to let it dry for a couple of hours and then you can turn it over and do exactly the same to the other side. And then, let it dry again and you're done. Next up I'm going to be making some bunting. Now I do have a full tutorial video on my channel but I'm going to talk you through it again here very quickly. I'm taking some pretty matching fabric. I'm going to be cutting diamond shapes out of them so folding it in half and cutting out triangles which then fold out into diamonds. Once I've cut out all my shapes I arrange them in the order I want them to go in on the bunting and I glue it to the ribbon so I kind of fold the diamond shape over the ribbon so it becomes a triangle. This little craft project is really easy. It takes probably less than an hour, then you just have to wait for the glue to dry, but it looks really effective. I had mine up in my room in second year and it really helped to make it feel a lot more personal and homely. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you how I made this light up letter B. You only need two things for this. So I bought this copper letter from Hobbycraft for really, really cheap. And I also bought some copper fairy lights you know the ones which are really tiny and you can like bend the wire and stuff like that and then the only thing you have to do is simply wind the copper wire around the shape i started winding in the bottom corner so that the battery pack could be right next to that and then i just wound and wound and wound it depends what initial you have really on how easy this is because with the letter b with the cutouts in the middle i found it quite hard to kind of distribute where the lights were so that it looked right when it lit up but with some letters like maybe an l or an i or something like that it might be a bit simpler it did take a few attempts to kind of distribute the lights evenly and also make sure that you didn't have any wire left at the end so it took a bit of of like fiddling and getting getting things right but eventually i got there and i think it looks really effective Next is another DIY project which I've made a video on before but I thought it was definitely worth including in this video as well. In first and second year I was obsessed with making these, I made them for everyone, I put them everywhere, basically plastered my whole room in them. They definitely deserve to be in this video. Now if you do want to learn how to make the stars then I'm just going to suggest that you go and watch the other video because I explain it properly there and it will take a lot of time for me to explain it again but you can watch me doing it on the screen and I'll kind of talk you through the steps. You start off with square paper, the thinner the better, so I often use origami paper, but any kind of craft pretty paper is fine. The first step is to cut the square paper into a pentagon shape because we're making a five point star, so the shape needs to have five sides. Essentially, you're folding each of the edges into the middle of the pentagon then unfolding to make a crease. Then you fold two edges up at once and make a crease between the two if that makes sense. Then you repeat this for all five sides. And then in one simple movement you'll get a star so if you push all the middle bits of the edge in at the same time they'll fold in on each other and you'll get this star shape. The final step to actually make the stars into bunting is to get some white cotton thread and kind of thread the stars onto it so that that becomes your line of bunting. I haven't exactly perfected this bit but the way I've been doing it is threading the star onto the cotton, looping it round the point and then threading it through again just so that it's extra secure. And that also means that the stars aren't going to slip around and they're going to stay in the positions that you made them in unless you want to move them in which case you just use a little bit of force and you can slide them along. Now 
The final DIY I'm going to show you in this video is this fairy light photo wall and I think that this is my favourite one. Now this one probably isn't for everybody because it involves either sticking stuff to the walls or actually nailing things into the walls. So if you have a landlord which doesn't want you to do that then this probably isn't the project for you. So I bought a reel of 16 meters of fairy lights to make this and I was using, I think they're called command strips or command hooks, they're like little sticky I don't know, sticky things that you stick to the wall and then you stick a hook onto them so that you can hang things like pictures or whatever up but I was using it to kind of loop fairy lights around. I did have to use my math skills a lot here, again so that I wouldn't have any excess lights left over or so that I'd get almost to the top of the wall and then run out of lights because that wouldn't look quite right. For someone who's studying maths or now has a maths degree, isn't that scary, um, it took me a long time. So good luck. Once I'd worked out how far apart the command strips needed to go, I stuck them on the wall and then I started looping across the fairy lights, but I had to make sure that I started in the bottom corner as close to my plug as possible so that I could plug them in. But once I'd got that done, it was pretty simple, just looping them backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Once all your lights are up, that's the base of the wall done and you just need to choose some pretty things to decorate it with. I used a mixture of photos and cards, postcards, little Polaroid pictures and little photo strips from photo booths and I pegged them up with either these little pegs that I got from Hobbycraft or I had some more like decorative bigger pegs but I will say don't use too many of the bigger pegs because they're quite heavy and if you're not careful you'll pull the whole thing down. So those are the five DIYs that I've used over the last few years to decorate my various different uni rooms. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favourite and if you make any of them then please send me photos on Twitter or Instagram, I would love to see them. Thank Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week for my uni room tour video. And yes, I have just been sitting on the floor filming the voiceover, accidentally zoomed in really close to my face, but I didn't think it would matter because you weren't seeing this, but now you are, so. <laughs>